Hi everyone, it's Miss Batty here with our final unit of seventh grade. Today we are going to start our unit on matter and energy in ecosystems, where we are going to go a little deeper and learn a little bit more about ecosystems. I'm so proud of all the work that you've done this year, and I'm so excited to see your thinking about our last unit. What you're going to need for this lesson today is a piece of paper, a pencil, a pen, or if you have a Schoology lesson or handout available from your teacher, it would be a good time to go ahead and get those out. Something that's optional, but I really encourage, is to find a family member, a friend, or a person that you feel comfortable texting or messaging with uh, throughout this lesson to share your ideas and ask questions. Something that's also optional, but if you have access to Amplify, we are going to be using the Matter and Energy digital model today. So you might wanna go ahead and pause the video and open that up so that you can use it along with me. We are going to be studying a specific place and understanding what happened there in this unit. Let's go ahead and watch a video to find out where and what we are going to be studying and trying to help understand. Biosphere 2 was built between 1987 and 1991, and the goal was to see if eight people could live inside a closed system where they would grow their own food, rebreathe the same air over and over again, and reuse and recycle the same water over and over again. And their hope was that everything they learned by doing this, this closed system experimentation, would allow us to someday live elsewhere in the solar system. I'm Linda Lay, and I was one of the original crew members in Biosphere 2. Biosphere 2 was designed to be completely separate, which means the atmosphere has to be sealed off from the outside atmosphere. Every little seam had to be tested to make sure it wasn't leaking. We grew almost all of our own food inside of the biosphere, and of course we had to cook. For our farm, we had plants and animals, lots of different kinds of plants. We started out with three different kinds of animals. Chickens, and we got eggs from the chickens. We had one egg a week per person. We had goats, so we got a little bit of goat milk from the goats and a little bit of goat meat. Biosphere 2 contains five unique biomes or plant communities, including the tropical rainforest, the savanna, tropical ocean, mangrove marsh, and the coastal fog desert. Well, all eight of us had our own job, and my job was to make sure that the rainforest, the savanna, and the desert were functioning. Um, what I mean, the plants were growing, the animals were happy, the temperatures were correct, to see if these were really good choices for a biosphere that someday might be off of the face of the planet. The eight people living inside faced many challenges. Among these were 14-hour workdays and producing barely enough farm crops to sustain themselves. They had very little food. The agriculture was also challenging because we weren't really growing quite enough food to give us all the calories we needed to do all the work we needed to do. And sometimes you could really feel that you were at the end of your calories. You couldn't work anymore because you'd used up all of the food that you were, you were eating. We built Biosphere 2 to be closed to the outside atmosphere for 100 years. So when we closed the door in 1991, we expected to have it closed and separate from the Earth's atmosphere for 100 years. The people would come out after two years, which we did, but we expected to have it closed, and that would be a very beautiful long-term experiment. In fact, it didn't go on that long. A lot of different difficulties um, cropped up, both inside the biosphere itself, but also with funding and with other things that happened on the outside. One of the main outcomes of the closed mission era of the early 1990s was that people found just how hard it is to replicate Earth under glass. All of the things we take for granted that the Earth does, clean air, clean water, plants that grow naturally, was vastly harder for people to design and achieve in a closed system. You can't really fail as long as you learn something from the experiment and as long as you learn something from the questions you have. If you just stop, maybe you could call that a failure because you didn't follow up on the system. But in Biosphere 2, we sure learned a lot.
This is a place called Biosphere 2. As we heard in the video, there's something going on here. Let's hear a little bit more from Dr. Corey about what happened in Biosphere 2. Welcome to the Biodome investigation team. You just learned about Biosphere 2, an experimental research facility that was built for learning more about Earth and its ecosystems. Five years ago, the Econauts constructed a biodome similar to Biosphere 2. They recently noticed that the organisms inside the biodome were getting sick and failing to reproduce. To protect the people and organisms inside, they shut down the biodome. The Econauts hired us to figure out what caused their biodome to fail, but we need your help. I'm including a presentation that explains your mission in more detail. So let's go ahead and find out a little bit more about what was going wrong. For the first few years, the plants and animals inside the biodome seemed healthy and normal. In the last few years, however, the Econauts began to notice some problems. Animals were getting sick and failing to reproduce. Plants weren't growing as big or producing as much fruit as they once did the Econauts realized that something had gone wrong. Although the organisms were safely removed from the biodome, the cause of these problems is still a mystery. Wow, so as we can see here, this is an image of an animal from the biodome, not looking very healthy, doesn't look like it's getting enough energy storage molecules, uh, like we learned in our populations and resources unit. The plants really look like they're not growing, they're, they're not green. Um, I don't see any fruit on these trees. So it really looks like this ecosystem is not healthy. I want you to go ahead and think about what you think is going on. Why do you think the biodome was not producing enough energy storage molecules to keep it healthy and, and safe? Now, if you remember from our populations and resources unit, an energy storage molecule is a molecule that organisms can use to release the energy they need to survive. There are many different types of energy storage molecules, and organisms use these to be able to do things like reproduction, to move around, and do all of the things they need to do to survive. Why didn't the plants and animals in the biodome have enough of these energy storage molecules? We really can see that in the way that the animals are looking very unhealthy and the fact that the plants are not able to grow and reproduce. What is your thinking about why this was occurring? Make sure you write down your initial ideas or draw them out before you move on. 